Hi, Class 2. Janelle here with Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. Today is the trusty calendar, Saturday, October 19th. Yeah, this is episode number 73, and I, uh, oh, I already forgot one thing. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Let's pull this together, Janelle. So, like I said, I'm Janelle, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time, October 19th. I, I had it on my calendar to come back on the 15th, and I didn't, but hey, it was only four days later, right? So, I, it's been a busy month. Um, I wanted to, so, or actually I should say it's been a busy two weeks, uh, there was, and I have the hiccups, but I need to do this now. So we're going to deal with the hiccups and I'm just going to go with it. Um, the, I had really big plans to like, I'm like, I'm going to be able to get all this done and do all this. And you know how life just kind of happens. You think everything's like all well thought out. Look, I actually planned out the two weeks. You think that everything would be planned out and it's going to go smooth and easy. And it, it does go smooth and easy, but there's a lot of other things that you forgot about. <laughs> like life, <laughs> life, it happens. So, so I have been doing stuff. Uh, um, so in my normal fashion, which isn't normal, I'm just going to like start going through things. Um, this episode is going to have progress. A um, little bit of stitching progress, some yarn progress, um, plans for the rest of the month. <laughs> lots of hiccups and lots of haul. You thought the last video had lots of haul? No. This one has lots of haul too. I counted 11 packages that are unopened. There, that's, and those are just things that are unopened. <sighs> Settle on in folks. It's going to be fun. The other thing I wanted to do too was I'm pretty sure this is like a anniversary month for me. I'm pretty sure my first lost tube was in October 21, I think. So I might have three years here. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> Details. So um, I do have a small little thing um, that I'm going to do. And then I'll probably do some more stuff the last, after October's done, just in case the whole anniversary is like later on in the month. But by the time the next video comes around, I'll know that for sure. So let's get to it, shall we? So January 1st, um, the... January 1st, or January, October 1st, there was a witch's brew, Mystery Knit Along, and um, this was from Telly Bean Knits, and I did, I did somewhat okay the first few clues I'm posting on Instagram and Facebook of my progress, but then I faltered. I just went, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I did get it done, but I haven't posted all of those things on Facebook and Instagram yet. So in the next couple days, maybe even tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, in the next couple days, maybe before you see this video, um, I will have those updated and I'm going to do like, I'll post one every like, you know, hour or something like that. Um, cause I had the, the witch's brew, Miss mystery knit along. And I also had these, um, these rocks that I was doing. And then I also have 
the jokes that I was doing. Well, I stopped doing those on day five, five maybe? I don't know. I have day five sitting right here. So I have to get back on those. So I'll be like posting all of those days kind of coming up here as we go along. Um, and I'll post them in order. So you're still going to get your rock of the day and your joke of the day. It's just you're going to get like the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. On like the 20th and the 21st and the 22nd. I don't know. But anyway, let's go on to a finished object. So my finished project that I did for the mystery knit along, um, this was a 13 part clue. There were 13 clues for this and they were 13 days, October 1st through the 13th. And let me show you, here's clue one, <gasps> clue two, clue three, clue four, clue five is the witch's hats. And you know what? Um, yeah, clue five is the witch's hats. Clue six and seven are the black cats on the maroon. Clue eight, I think, is the moons. Nine and ten are these potion bottles and uh, crystal balls. That's nine and ten. 11 and 12 are the cauldrons. So 11, 12, and 13 is the ribbing on the bottom. So here it is all together in one. It is so fun. And it's a scarf style. So what you do is you knit flat back and forth for these first parts. And then when you're done with this part, this is where you, you join it. So to wear it, all you have to do is slip it over your head, throw it on, and position it to however you want. And you just kind of like, you know, arrange it to wherever. It's it's really cool. I absolutely love it. And it's comfortable. I've worn it twice now. Um, I went to a lock-in today at the yarn shop. Um, and I wore it twice now. No, so it's very, it's nice and warm and I love it. It's very cool. So, and yeah, so somebody had to, they wanted to see a picture of it or whatever. And so I, they said, here, stretch that out so I can see it. So I said, okay, so there it is. <laughs> Pretty fun. Um, but I am really happy that I finished this and I finished it on the 14th. Excuse me. So I did finish it one day later than what I originally planned on doing, but it is done and I am so happy and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with the colors I picked out. I think it blends really well and it's just very fun and Halloween-y. So that's super fun. So this is called Witch's Brew. All right, next, let's see. That's the only finished item I have. The rest of the stuff I have are in progress. Um, so after the 13th, after I was done with that, I was going to start pulling out some cross stitch. Well, I didn't pull out any cross stitch yet because I'm going to be a grandma, right? Yeah. So I'm going to be a grandma and the baby shower is November 3rd. And I have been really kicking butt trying to get stuff ready for the baby shower. I made a hundred blocks. Here's a picture of some in progress stuff, um, of me sanding the blocks and getting them ready. Actually, it's not like live action shots or anything like that. It's just kind of some couple progress shots of like this stack, then this stack, then this stack. I was, I had like a little handheld sander and I was sanding them. The first day I was out there for like five hours and I think I got like 20 done. Then the next day I got like maybe another 20 done. And then the next day I got like 10 done and it was like, my hand just hurt. Well, in the meantime, my husband ordered me a different sander. He ordered a belt sander and that went a lot faster. So then this last weekend or actually, I think it was last, it was this week actually might've been, was it Wednesday? I think it might've been Wednesday night. I was out there. <laughs> sanding and I got 
the rest of the blocks. I got like 45 blocks done in a couple hours compared to three different days to get 55 blocks ready. So that was really good. So now the blocks are all sanded. They're all clean. They're ready for paint. I've got, here's my progress of that. I have pumpkins and blocks to paint and all the various colors. Um, and I have them like sorted. So we know like these are going to be this color, you know, so just kind of organized, try to get that done. Um, and just getting the everything finalized and prepped and everything for that shower so we don't have to like worry about last minute kind of pulling things together we can get it all done and ready to go and be able to because the shower is not at our house it is at um it's at a bowling alley out near where the kids live so we can get everything out there and it's a couple hours from our house so it'll be a drive that morning but that's okay um and then we'll get everything going and be able to do that. So there we are. Exciting. Exciting. She's 24 weeks or she was 24 weeks this last weekend. I think it was this weekend. Um, and, uh, it's a little baby, you know, the ultrasound picture and the baby bump and all that. So it's getting, ex it's exciting getting ready. Um, other than that, I mean, that's what I've been doing is like everything around here, getting ready for baby shower and knitting that cowl pretty much was like, has been my life. Um, I hung up my Gilmore girls, check it out. I got it up there. I'm so happy. Um, I'm starting to try to hang things. I'm hanging some more things in the living room, getting some more things up on the walls. It's like, I have all the, these little ideas of things to do, but I'm just not executing them. So that's what I'm working on and trying to get some of that stuff done. Um, let's see. Um, on the 5th of October, I went with a friend on a bus trip. It was like a acorn, acorn antics bus trip. Um, and we went to four different yarn shops. Here's my little badgy thing. Um, we went to four different yarn shops in Minnesota. We hopped on a bus. We had to be there at six o'clock because the bus left at 6.30. So starting at six o'clock to check in and get going. And then we got back to that yarn shop shortly after 5 p.m. So it was a whole day of driving and checking things out. And I did good. I did good. I'm getting a little sewing vibe back in. in so I'm excited for some things that I bought and some projects. So that'll be good. Other than that, it's basically been work and working that too. I mean, that's been a little crazy. Um, but it is all good. Look, I even like has like all this, you know, I had a gender written down and everything. Um, so notes and different things, but all right, let's get on to a little more progress. Like I said, I have a little more progress. Um, I did pull out one cross stitch thing so far, um, to work on. Um, so after, I do have a lot more knitting I have to do because I still have to finish the baby blanket and the cow that I'm working on. I'll show you those in just a minute, in a little bit where I'm at with those. But for my cross stitching progress, I pulled out the Witchy Stitcher Ghost Stories. Um, and I had, so I basically had part of this black done or part of this white done. Everything else is, was done. Let's get this guy out of there. Um, and all I have left to do is fill in the white inside the ghost here and down here. So this I'm going to work on and hopefully I have this done. Um, we're going to be driving out to the kids' place um, tomorrow, I think, to go. They're also in the process of selling their house and looking for a new house. So I think we're going to go out there and look at a house with them or something like that, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then, so I'm going to work on finishing this. All I have left to do is just finish this, the parchment color. Um, so I've got the floss and I got that and it's, so it's a nice, easy travel thing I can do. Um, I'm, so I'm going to bring that with me if we go do that tomorrow. Um, and then the other thing that I've been working on, let me grab my yarn bag. 
So this is my baby blanket that I've been working on. And this is just a regular um, diagonal. It's a, there's a hundred different patterns for a, it's a diagonal garter stitch ba baby blanket. And this is how far I am. Um, I think, I don't remember if I had started this last time, but I was like down here or whatever, but the last couple of nights I've been working on it, um, we're watching some Telsa King. And so it's like, it's an easy one to knit. So I just am starting to work on that. So it'll be a cute little baby blanket. And I'm using, for the yarn I'm using, it's sock yarn, tweed, or Gia. And um, I'm holding two balls together. So basically I'm going to keep knitting either until I think it's about halfway to uh, the halfway point or I use this up. Um, once I use this up or I'm to the halfway point, then I'm going to turn around and come back and start decreasing. So basically um, every other row I'm decreasing or increasing two stitches. So then when I'm halfway, um, I'll decrease two stitches every other row. So it's cool. I like the tweediness and the little specks of color that is that are in there. So that's what I've been working on there. And then the other thing I've been working on is the cow. So this will go in the car with me tomorrow too if we're going. So finishing that ghost stories and working on that blanket will be kind of, that's, those are my goals for the weekend is to do those two things. Um, if I'm out and about, if I'm just sitting at home tonight or actually finish the ghost stories first. And then if I'm sitting at home and hanging out tomorrow around here, I'm going to work on this cow a little bit more. Let me find the picture of the cow for you. It's a super cute one. Um, that's the pattern. Hang on. Let me, there we go. And it's from Knittables. Knittables.com, um, Sarah Gasson, G-A-S-S-O-N. And that is the cow that I'm making, but I'm doing it with some blues. So this is, I know last time I showed it to you, I didn't have as much done, so it was a little harder to show, but um, now we can actually see some cow spots forming. So this is, and this is the body. So we have some cow spots there. We have some cow spots there and there. And I'm probably, I think I'm on, I'm on row 36 right now of the body. And there are 71 rows. So I'm about halfway done with, the, halfway down the body. Um, and then this will, it's knit flat and it'll come around and it'll be round. So this is about how big a round the cow will be. So if I actually take it like this, I don't know. It's cute. And these, these little markers are where the arms are going to go. So it's fun. It's a cute little, it's going to be a cute little guy. So that is my progress of the things that I've been making. Now, Let's get on to the things that I've been buying <laughs> or getting in the mail. I'm going to close this down really quick because we don't need an extra light shining on me. Okay. So I was at the yarn shop today and for the lock-in. And it was the lack in the theme was Rhinebeck or bust. So there's a Rhinebeck um, fiber festival out east happening this weekend. Um, and I, you know, in true spirit, when I buy things, I don't always look to see if I have them already. So I have this doodle deck. And when I was going through my doodle decks, I found I had two of these. So I would like to pass this one on to a lucky, lucky person. Um, what a doodle deck is, is this is um, from Pacific Knit Co. And it's a card deck. Um, and you can see some of the things that are in that doodle deck. Let me see if it's if it's wrapped in plastic. I can't take them all apart. Oh, they're not. Okay. 
Um, so it's basically all of these decks, like a deck, of, all these cards, like a deck of cards, but they've got um, like patterns. So different things, um, like here's some llamas, bunnies, you know, sheep, all kinds of different things. Um, so what you can do with these is you can put things together. You can do like a cowl. Um, and there's some ideas and different things of what to do in here and how to make those. So um, this is the all of the doodle cards. So you can look, there's a leaf here too for your fall. Um, so you can like create your own patterns and make what you want. These would work for cross stitch as well. You can totally use these as charted little items to create your own little sampler or cross stitch design um, with different things. So the secret word is Rhinebeck, R-H-I-N-E-B-E-C-K. Um, so if you are interested in this, I will go ahead and pick somebody that commented with Rhinebeck. Um, please be 18 so I can get your address, um, all that jazz. Please don't say the, you know, the bat, the words that pull in all the bots and trolls or whatever. So, all right, that's that. I'll have more stuff at the end of the month as well. Like I said, I don't know when my anniversary date is. And I still have the, um, the strawberry stuff that I gave away. Michelle Delibarton, De 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 I know I butchered it. Um, please reach out to me if you see this so that I can get your address so I can send that to you. You were the lucky winner on that one. So, um, all right, then let's see what else I got. Okay, let's keep going. So that was, so at the yarn shop for Rhinebeck, that's where I was doing that. We um, got... Our swag was, um, oh, I'm trying to find that cute, the cute little thing that we got. It was a little tiny, oh, here it is. It was like a little suitcase and it was Rhinebecker bust. And inside this case, this is, I can't remember what they're called, but they are these little, um, rubber cords and what you can do is you can take your knitting, your knitting needles and put it on each cord and you can like transfer your work and, or little holders to hold your work so things don't slide off and they have the stoppers so things don't slide off. So they like made a little suitcase and put that inside and then like had the little handle for the suitcase be the cord. So that was really cute. And then we also got a, um, voucher for a skein of yarn and the kind of yarn that they were giving us was um woolpaca cat from cascade yarns and this is one of the woolpaca colors i got um so that was fun so that was our swag that we got but okay so this this was a per this was a find afterwards and i don't know what i'm gonna actually do with this but um i got these four yarns to go together throw them this way so you can see the colors a little bit more. Um, I think this is just an awesome fall palette. I was doing all the things fall today. I went to Starbucks. I had the iced um, apple chai latte drink thing. I don't even remember what it was, but it was so good. I had the pumpkin chai. Um, I'm now having a cinnamon sugar coffee drink at the end of the night. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I found this and this is, this is what started it. Um, this is Be Will and DK and this, isn't this fun? So, and then they had a couple orange ones and I picked out this orange to go with it and like, you know what? We need a brown. So across the way they had this one. This is Lore from, um, the fiber company. And I thought that this brown Tweety went really well with it. And then I'm like, you know what? I need a pop. And do you see that little blue there? That's when I saw, saw the wool stock or wool packa, the blue. So I thought that, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it for sure, but it is going to be 
an awesome palette for whatever I choose. So excited for that. Okay, so the when um I'm always you know me, I'm a hat sucker. So I am pom poms. They got some new colors of Malabrigo Rasta in, and this one is called Olive. Look at how deep and gorgeous this green color is. And with every great hat, you need to have a great pom-pom. Look at this pom-pom. This pom-pom has those same green variants inside of it. Isn't that oh, so amazing? This is going to be an awesome hat. Okay, and then for wool stock, um, the first time I went out there to pick, they had this really cool burnt orange. So this, actually, what is this called? Campfire Heather is what, what it's called. Um, but it's like a burnt orange. The first thing I saw when I saw this, I thought, a fox. So my plan for this is to make a little stuffed animal fox. I got white, black, and the fox color. And then I could have a cute little fox hat to go with it. So, or a fox blanket or something something fox. That is my plan for that. Um, so I'm super excited. And they have these really cool little stitch markers. They're from Tilting Planet. They're wood, they're hand carved wood progress keepers. And I got this cute little heart. So that's what I got from the yarn shop today. Let's see. That is all that's in that bag. All right, so let's go off over into our other abyss. Um, let's see. Oh, Thread the Needle Stitchery. Let's see what we got from there. Um, I'm going to leave the yarn shop hop or the quilt store bus hop to last because there's a lot that I got. Um, I don't know. I'll leave it to last just in case you guys are sick of looking at all this stuff. Um, but this is my um, October Floss of the Month, um, Athena's Monthly Floss Pack, inspired by 12 Grimwald Place. This is, ooh, these are some fun colors. Let me take them out of the package. And this is funny, I didn't even see what these, I didn't see anybody do these colors or anything on any videos yet, so I didn't know what they were. So they were a complete si surprise to me. Um, and they're a camouflage color, and I decided to wear my camouflage pajama pants tonight. So it's kind of fun, kind of fitting. Um, so here we've got Classic Color Works um, Camouflage is one of them. Classic Color Works, Works Timber, Gentle Art Onyx. So this is Onyx. Um, Gentle Art Tin Bucket and Gentle Art Wrought Iron. There is all of those colors. I'm going to pull out the camouflage one because that's the variegated one. All the rest of them are the same. Come on. Very cool. Love them. Okay. Next up we have the cross stitch nook. I don't know what I ordered from the cross stitch nook. I don't even know where the cross stitch nook is. It's in North Carolina. Okay, so I did some shopping. Apparently I did a lot of shopping because I'm not even remembering everything I got. Total surprises, right? Total surprises. Um, Oh, okay, because it was kind of, it was like something I had found through Etsy or something like that. Okay, that's right. Um, I saw um, Erica, so Erica and Kevin from um, Accio Whips. Erica was stitching this. This is Erica Michaels, um, All Hallows Eve. And I just loved what she was, how hers was turning out, so I decided to get this. That's what that was. And I may have a second one of these because um, I ordered some other things and I'm, 
I may have forgotten that I ordered it separately and I might have a second one. If I do, we know what that other, one of those other things will be at the end of the month. So this is one, one, two, three stitch. And I think, yeah, I know what got me rolling on this one was I was looking for fabric. Um, I think I was looking for fabric. Yeah, for the Erica Michaels All Hallows Eve pattern. And I fell down a rabbit hole. Um, I did find some, some fabric. I don't know if the fabric that I got is what I'm going to use for it, but I got a couple different things. Um, that could be a potential. I got um, 18 count vintage gray Ada. It's not showing up as gray, but um, it's a little, let's see if I put this, there you go. You can see that it's a little darker there. So 18 count vintage gray Ada. And then I got vintage stormy cloud Ada, 18 count. So those are some options for that. I'm kind of feeling that this might be the winner. Um, but then I fell down a rabbit hole of Mill Hills and other things. Um, oh, they had coffee patterns on sale. So here is Madame Chantilly Autumn Spiced Coffee. That looks fun. And I think all the rest of these things are Mill Hills. Um, I got, and like I said, I fell down a rabbit hole. <laughs> we have a Jim Shore. I don't know if I have any Jim Shores, but I got Milk and Cookie Gnome. Um, Wanda's Clothesline from Mill Hill. Ooh, I saw Connie from Count Twice Stitch once do this one, and I wanted this one. This is what made me go look at the Mill Hills. Um, this one's called uh, Autumn Harvest Collection called To Go. Um, and then, ooh, found some more coffee, friends. Um, let's see. This one is Mill Hill Nutty Squirrels. Mill Hill Autumn Moose. Um, I thought this one was super cute. Springtime Dragonfly. Springtime Purple Flower. I know there's more springtimes in here. Um, hang on. Springtime Aqua Flower, Springtime Bee, and what made me order these is there was a ladybug. The ladybug was out of stock, um, so I am going to be watching for that ladybug because I want to get them all and do them all together for um, a great friend of mine. Aren't they fun? I think they're adorable. Um, and then, okay, so here's some more we got some Christmas, too. We got Ugly Sweater. Here's another Autumn Harvest. Here's a bee. We got a Spring Bouquet. We got Ice Cream Sunday. Um, Winter Holiday. A stack of presents. Um, here's a, a Snowman, part of a stamp collection. Here is Sweet Sheep, um, Turkey Owl. I might have a, another one of these. I'll have to look through when I'm putting these away, but he was too cute and I just didn't want to miss out on him. And then another stamp collection, Rudolph. So yeah, aren't those fun? I thought they were just adorable. Okay, and so I'm pretty sure I have flosses here, and I'm pretty sure these are the flosses for 
this pattern. Um, floss used, Weeks Dye Works. We have Grit, Scarce. Yeah, these are all of the flosses for this pattern. So very good. Very good, Janelle. Um, all right, so that's that. Let's see what this one is. Oh, Forbidden Fiber Co. All right. Ooh, I want to look at this sheet really quick before I forget. Sometimes one, two, three stitch will have things on back order and you don't really realize it, especially when you have a bunch of things in the package. So Forbidden Fiber Co. was doing a little um, fundraiser um, to help support or help to donate some money to uh, the project um, for um, Hurricane Helene. And she had put out her After the Storm yarn and raindrop project bag out there. So I got those. And here is the project bag. And then after the storm, I did get two of these because I thought this was just really fun. And I don't really know what I'm going to make with it yet, of course. But it's called After the Storm, and I got the Pride DK. And it's black, gray, and white. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a ton of sparkle in these. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, a ton of sparkle. So very happy about that. Um, I got some shaper mints. <laughs> I'm not going to show that. That's where I just like want to, you know, when you just need a second and a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, fat quarter shop. What did I get from there? I think, I think I got maybe actual quilting stuff if I remember right but I don't know we'll find out soon won't we oh I know what the, okay it's um some of the Tim uh Tim Holtz free spirit eclectic elements and I got the fat quarter bundle um I'll show you what I got this to go with in just a little bit all right what is this oh Pacific Knit Company um, they had some other doodle decks. They released a few doodle decks various times of the year. So there were some more new ones. I really should get a scissors and not try to use my pen to open tape on these, huh? But you know what? Sometimes you just make do with what you got. All right. Let's see. Ooh, this is kind of fun. A doodle sweater. And there's a book out called The Doodle Knit Directory. I'm very intrigued about what this looks like. So I might be looking at... I'm gonna. My friend Kate got this, and I'm going to actually see if I can look at hers and see if I want that or if I basically have everything I need or want via the doodle decks that I already have. So there were six out there that I did not have yet, and I wanted to stock up on those. Oh, look, I got a cute little ghosty sticker. Um, we got the Haunted Doodle Deck. We got the Dino Doodle Deck. You know, the grandson coming. <laughs> Dinosaurs are, are a must. The Spellbound Doodle Deck. The Desert Doodle Deck. I thought that was fun. Uh, the monster doodle deck. And the camping doodle deck. So yes, so we're adding to the doodle deck collection. Okay, next. This is from... Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's from... Across the pond from the United Kingdom. I'm pretty sure this is fabric. I'm just 
gonna rip it open. Just rip it open, Janelle. Ooh, this was fabric that I got um, to possibly use for, um, I don't know what that one is. That one's just cool. I don't know. Maybe that one I didn't realize was so green. Um, this one's called Forgotten Mushrooms. This is from River Hut Designs. And I was thinking this might be what I do um, Halloween Quaker on. Um, something that looks kind of like murky, but my murky was so off that I didn't really like it. Um, and I think this might be a good compromise. I know I have something else in the works that I thought I had found that'll work for, um, for that, but I had these on orders and I, you know, it's not done until you actually, it's not figured out or determined what you're going to use until you actually start it. So this is 18 count forgotten mushroom and then here I got this green um I don't know why I got this green but I don't know daffodil field 18 count I'll have to try to remember why I got that I honestly don't remember ordering that one um I kind of you're on my phone, so I can't like look it up and make sure it's the right one, but I will do that later. I feel like I had maybe two browns and maybe I just clicked the wrong thing. I don't know. All right. Who is this from? This is from Kingsland Needle Art from Florida. And again, this was part of my um, fabric mission. Kingsland Needle Art. Um, trying to get some different variations of um, little like spookier, darker kind of fabrics. I have a lot of a lot of neutrals. This one is called okay. So this one's Seraphim Crepe, eighteen count. This one is Seraphim Rustic Charm, eighteen count. This one is Seraphim Sunflower Fields, 18 count. So this one's a little more yellow than this one. So this might be a good contender for it as well. Ooh, and then this one is Seraphim Haunted, 18 count. So I think these are all gonna be good contenders. Exciting. And I think I might have been like looking at some of these two as like grays maybe for the All Hallows Eve as well, but we'll see. We'll see what wins. Okay, next up, um, I've been seeing some ads on a Facebook ad and it's making this um, bag. It's a crochet bag. And I decided, you know what, I know how to crochet. I don't need to buy the kit and I can do this. I already have a ton of yarn and I know I have some of the exact yarn that they were using. So I got some bases um, and on these bases they have the holes. And these are nice hard bases with feet on them and everything like that. And then I got some candles. So I'm going to try to do some crochet bags on my own. Alright, I got the... Um, Christmas just cross stitch in the mail. I just got this the other day. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, I know I glanced at it, I glanced at it as I was walking up the driveway, but then got distracted, so I didn't even look at it real close. Let me just give it a quick once over. Oh, it's got a cute little Merry Christmas bear. Hmm. You know what? Not a a lot of things in there that I think are like, you know, ooh, I have to stitch it right away. But there are some cute things. Oh, these guys are kind of fun. There's these little trio guys. This little dove thing's kind of cute. That might be kind of fun to, to make. Might be a little 
Might be hard. Ooh, Jingle Ball. Jingle Ball, the tickets went on sale for that yesterday. Yes, yesterday I got my tickets. I got three classes. I got the um, uh, Tiny Modernist, the Gingerbread Finishing House class. Um, that wasn't a kit. That was just the class and the PDF and instructions of, you know, get it, do it, you know what to do, but it, there wasn't a kit involved. Um, I did get the Liz Matthews. Um, it's a star with a reindeer on it. It's really super cute. And so I'm got that kit and then I got the Teresa Kogut. Um, it's like a garland, a snowman garland kit, I think. So I got three classes, so I'm excited for Jingle Ball coming up. That will be a good time. All right, um, let's see. Let's open this box next. Um, I This was a total whim purchase. Um, Annie's. You know how you, we always get all these ads from everything? Well, I've been doing a lot of scrolling on my phone lately. Um, we'll see. There was a, there was a super cute coffee cup that was a free item. If you ordered something, <laughs> um, that had to be shipped. Then I looked and I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I like that. So I'm like, okay, let's get it. And hey, I got a coffee mug too. They packed it really good. Like, really good. Which is good, because it's a coffee mug. It's breakable. Sorry. I will get this open. I will. Okay, I won't. Um, I wonder where my are. Oh, sure. As soon as I start to give up, it says, okay, I give in. Got it. All right. Are you ready for this super, super cute mug? Oh, it's not as big as I wanted it to be, but it is really cute. Look at this super cute mug. And it says meow. I love it. Very fun. Very fun. Okay. It was a good choice. I'm glad I did it. Because, look at, I ordered, um, holy mackerel, that's big. Wow. Okay. It's a needle minder. Um, but look at the size of this needle minder. I mean, look at, look at that. That's huge. That'll like mind your scissors and everything. Holy cow. That's big. Yeah, easily tend your pins, needles, and small scissors. That is super cute though. Very fun. All right, and then here is a kit. It It's in this Merry Christmas box. It's a quilt kit. Let's see. Let's see. Here's all of the fabric. Um, ooh, there's more fabric. There's like dividers to put inside the box so you can use the box for later. Oh, this is, this is an awesome box. Well, I guess I could have just uh, shown that, but this is the layer cakes. It's called Hometown Holiday. Let's see. I do want to make a couple of quilts this winter. One, just some nice, neutral, cute, festive things. The quilt that this is going to make, it's a Riley Blake quilt. 
design and it's called decorating the tree. Look at that. It's not fun. Um, the finish size is 80 and a half by 74 and a half. So it looks like that's what it looks like, but oh, it's cute. And yeah, it's on the bottom as well here. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a fun little kit that I'm very excited for. And it's like cutting out all those ornaments. So it'll be a fun little, it'll probably be tedious, but you know what? It will be fun. Okay, that's this big, great big box. All right, then we have another box here. This one is from Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Um, it's Nightmare on Pumpkin Creek Lane. I know that there's been quite a few people that have done unboxings on this because that's how I knew to order it. Um, I knew that Bobby was making this really cool box. Um, I just didn't know every, I didn't know what, what everything was in it. And I was a little leery because I'm not a huge horror Halloween person where I know that um, Bobby really does embrace the horror for Halloween stuff. Um, but I saw a couple things and I heard some rumors or whatever what was going to be in there. So I'm like, you know what? So I just waited and I saw the, um, I saw the unboxings. So I decided after I saw the unboxings, let's do it. I'm trying to figure out how to open this box. There's one. Must be down here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's definitely... There I go again, using my pen. Hmm. Am I going to have to break down and go? No. See? See? I threaten it that I'm going to go get the scissors and it works. Hell yeah. Just like kids. Oh, I just broke my pen. <laughs> okay, then. Well, we'll have to find the rest of the pen later. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I'm not going to keep the box for anything, so we're just going to rip into it. If all else fails, just do it. Okay, so we have our little cheat sheet. Ooh, and I knew that there was a wax seal involved. I do like to keep the wax seals because I think those make, you can use those as fun little um, embellishments on certain things. So that's really cool. All right. Um, I know that there's a ton of other unboxings, so I don't know if well, I'll open everything, but yeah, she's got like everything in the packages and all of that. This is all of the DMC for all of the projects. Um, there's, if I remember right, there's three fully kitted, three fully kitted projects in here. So super, super cool. Um, Almond m and M's floss, silk floss. This is one of the reasons I wanted the box because these flosses are amazing. Oh, I can't wait to see them in person. They were very cool um, when I saw them on the videos. So we have Carrie. That is really good. Thanks. Um, we have, oh, this is the other one, Leatherface. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Children of the Corn. 
Ymir does such a good job at dyeing the flosses. Crystal Lake, these variegations are just amazing. And Friday the 13th, ooh, this one's a lot, this one's really purpley. I didn't remember it being purple. Oh, it's oh, so much better. These are so great. Mm-hmm, mm-mm, mm-mm, All right, what else did we get in here? We got some stickers. Um, ooh, needle minder. And I do not have a needle minder like this yet, so I was super excited for it. I got a Ouija board and the little planchette moves. So that was another thing that I was like, uh, yes, please. Uh, let's see, we got some washi tape. Um, oh, this was a body, let's see. This is lotion. Um, farewell to the flesh. Tupelo honey vanilla and body cream. Oh, and it's all. We're going to open this up. Because I've been knitting so much. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have right, right there, that little mark. That's a callus. And the knitting needle has been going through the callus I've been knitting so much. So I, if this is good stuff, then I might be able to use... Mmm, that smells good. Very subtle. I like it. It's from Southern Grimm. Cool. Alright, let's see. What is this? Oh, so soy wax candles from Southern Grimm. Wax melts, pumpkin patch. Um, crossed in stitches. There were so many good things in this box that I'm, yeah, I'm really glad that she still had some left. Um, okay, these are wooden. I thought these were acrylic. These are wooden floss drops. And look at the little knives in there. Oh, so good. So good. And then everything is just packaged up really great. I love this. Okay, this is the uh, brandy um, from Be Stitch Me. This is the fabric. And she also threw in some floss, some hand dyed silk floss. This is one of the other reasons. and had to get this because this was like some of this was limited to just this box so this is called devil's claw that is gorgeous and there's also um devil's claw fabric and i got the 16 count ada isn't that oh, so good so good And then there's um, Camp Crystal Lake, eight, 16 count. That's so, so cool. That looks good. I absolutely love, 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 love. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't remember everything that was in here, so it's like, it's still kind of like a fresh unboxing. Oh, yes, the hat. This was really cool. I don't know if I'm going to wear the... Oh, this might be kind of fun to wear on Halloween. The It hat. Oh. It is good. It is good. Oh, yeah. It fits nice. This is a soft, soft hat, too. Very cool. All right. What do we have next? And all of her stickers... Ooh, this is the Buffalo Bills body lotion, little bag for all your little, all your keepsakes. All right, here are the patterns. This one says where to. This is one that I, I this is like one of them that sold it for me because I'm like, yeah, this is really cool. I do love this pattern. Um, beware. 
um, Crystal Lake, Newt, Haddonfield, Elm Street, and Castle Rock. Um, so these are all the different areas of like where to go, the horror films. And people have stitched, it, it, I think somebody said that they've stitched how many miles and stuff like that it is for them. So I thought that was really cool. This was designed, these patterns were all designed by Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitives. So she did these all herself. Um, this was 120 by 150. Very fun. Yeah, Newt, Texas, Ch Chainsaw Massacre. Crystal Lake, New Jersey, Friday the 13th. Haddonfield, Illinois, Halloween. Elm Street, Ohio, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Castle Rock, Maine, Needful Things, and many more Stephen King books. <laughs> That's very fun. All right, and then this one was Norman. I thought this was cute. And this one is just, this one's cool. I don't know if it, I'll, I'll do it on that fabric that it, that it came with. Um, I might want to tone it down a little bit, but um, this is from Jason, Friday the 13th. I know I stitched two different Jason masks already, um, so I really didn't want to do that again. So I do like I'm, I, this one for a little different feel. Awesome. All right, and then the last thing in the box here is a project bag from Lynn X Stitches Creates, and it is Freddy version. There we are. So, such good stuff in this box, let me tell you. All right, thank you, Bobby. Thank you for having some left. I'm very happy I was able to get one. Um, like I said, I was on the fence before because I was like, okay, I know she's like true horror, you know, film likes all those things. And I just wasn't sure how gory, I mean, it's, it is true horror, true gore, but it's classy still. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Bobby. You, you did awesome. Okay. The last thing I have, the last thing. All right. Yeah, that's funny. The last thing um, is from the quilt, book, quilt shop hop. And when I say the last thing, I mean, we went to four quilt shops. <laughs> and I didn't hold back. One of the quilt shops... You got a bag if you spent a certain amount. So let's see what we got in this bag. This is from Calico Hutch, and this was in Hayward, Minnesota. Um, I, I have been to all of these quilt shops before, um, and the all of these were like some of my favorite quilt shops. So at Calico Hutch, they have um, wool things as well. They had all kinds of fun things. I, I, this was our first one that we went to. We met, the bus took off from Quilted Treasures in Rogers, Minnesota. Um, and it was a couple hour drive down here. So this is, um, this was a, okay, this isn't the right one. Let me find the right thing to go with it. Is this the one? Haunted Halloween? No. Well, anyway, they had a bunch of, uh, here it is. Um, this one is called Spooky, and it's, all of the wool is kitted up in here, and this is the pattern. So, Spooky, and all of the stuff to make Spooky. Isn't that fun? Um, so I'm excited to do some of these wool applique things. Um, I don't know some of these have patterns inside of them and some of them are um, outside this one is haunted Halloween woolen mat this is from buttermilk basin and this is the kit for that one then we have um, the Night Watchman. Now this isn't wool. This is no. Yeah, this is fabric. Night Watchman wall hanging, 
and I bought the kit for that as well. This is going to be a challenge. This is, I'm excited for this because this is, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm excited for it. Um, there was the cute little Be Kind Wool Kit, and this is a picture of what it looks like. Um, they had, oh, this one's, it's hard to see it. Let me take it out really quick. I did not buy the kit for this one, I don't think. Um, but this is Little Quilt Squared. And this is called Who? Me? So it's just a small little hanging to make a little... November turkey guy but I got just the pattern oh you gotta have fun dusting right this is um gonna be for my grand's baby this is going to make a blanket and a book let me pull the ribbon up so you can see it a little bit better so it's a minky thing, but it makes um, a book and a blanket. So it's a kit that has all of that in there for it. So this is going to be the birth, the birth present. So I'm knitting the blanket now. That's the baby shower present. This is when the baby's born present. And um, I do have another one in somewhere in one of these things that will be when the baby's a toddler present. <laughs> so, um, this is called witching hour. Um, oh, I did get the who me little kit for who me. This one must have the pattern inside of it. Yes. Pattern included in the kit. I wonder if I can find it really quick. Here it is. So this is all of the fabrics. Um, and here's a picture of it. So it's a little panel in there. So that was a fun, cute quilt. Cute quilt. Um, these I got as sets to make bags. So I got some pumpkins and some orange. Um, I got some fun animals in this blue. And actually this, I want to try to make some burp cloths and put this on burp cloths. And then this one is um, like some camping outdoorsy theme. And then here is some more of that um, fun animal print. This is a pillowcase kit. So yeah, that's what I got from that shop. Okay, then um, everybody got a, a kit acorn antics we got patterns and we got the charm pack and all of the stuff to make three different um, projects for this so that was fun okay this one this pile was from um A Hutchinson shop called Quilt Haven on Main, and this is one of my favorite shops. Hold on. The bag was completely ripping, so why not rip it apart and show you? Quilt Haven on Main in Hutchinson, Minnesota. And um, I got some a few different Halloween panels and some coordinating Halloween fabric. I'm going to try to make bags with panels too. 
we'll see. We'll see if it works. Um, but I got this to coordinate with those panels. I got this fun coffee fabric. Oh, I can't show you this one. This one's a surprise for my friend Debbie. I got this. This is like cheater quilt fabric, but I thought this would make some fun bags. And don't worry, Debbie, I have enough for you too. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that was a free pattern that we all got. Here's another, um, just a sample, more panel stuff. Halloween. Um, this is <laughs> Outhouse Words. On a roll, wash your hands, take a seat, that way to go, <laughs> on a break. <laughs> and I got this fabric to coordinate with it. <sighs> Thought that might be kind of fun. Okay, this is Dreadful Delights. And now I, I know I got some fabric like this before, but I want to make a quilt with this. Um, so there's a lot of these. De Dreadful Delight. I mean, all of these kinds of muted fun like look at the there's the purple all of these and that's what I got this to go with so these two together I think will make a super fun quilt and then the last thing I got from there was this quilt kit this is squash blossoms and the, everything for it and this is what that quilt will look like they had it hanging up and done and it was amazing. I just, I had to, I had to, I had to get it. Okay. That was from that shop. Okay. This I got from the Quilted Treasures in Rogers. This pattern I thought was super cute. Um, I got some different, um, Tim, or I don't remember who the, if it, I think this might be Tim Holtz fabric also, but there's all of these fun, like, it's almost like postage and grungy and words and feel good type things on them. And then here's some pinks and some grays that I thought were fun too. Um, this is something else I was thinking, making burp class with. This is a quilt kit. I do, if I have a picture of this one, I'll put it in here. Um, this one's called Hey Boo. I don't want to take it all apart. It's a panel quilt. Um, so it's got some fun panels. It's a cutesy Halloween thing. And this one is a sim simple table runner. Um, so it's the patterns inside. So it has this really fun little fabric here and this plaid. And then just a coordinating piece here. Oh, well, let's see. Is there a picture? No, there isn't. And then there's another one here with some other floral botanicals and then plaid. Um, and oh, they, I think they cut all of these fabrics together. They did. Here's some fun little squirrels with some wood. Um, there's some wine fabric. more wine fabric, corks, and that's everything in that one. And then I got a little dish towel to try to make a little project bag with a dish towel and a little decoration here. Okay, that's everything from there. This last one was from the um, Old Alley Quilt Shop in Sherburn, Minnesota. 
and this one it used to feel old bowling alley so it's just long and narrow but it's super cool this one had some awesome awesome minky this is going to be the grandbaby toddler quilt oh look at those trucks and this orange fabric to go with it super cool um, some other fun things I got from there um, I picked up some things to maybe try to make some bags I got some like red kerchief and some cowboy boots oh this panel was amazing scary spooky haunted house oh it's upside down scary spooky haunted houses and then I got this cross X's cross stitch to go with it. I got this toweling thinking this might be kind of fun to make like a little accessory bag with. Like you can cut it apart and sew the bottoms together somehow and then have like the zipper top. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this was a kit with like Smokey the Bear fabric and a couple other outdoorsy things. This was on sale. This was, and then these moon, this moon and this pink fabric I thought was really cute. Um, this was a, Oh, this was a panel and it has like all these florals inside of it. I don't want to open it up. Um, and then I got a temporary glue stick since I'm going to be doing some applique. And then I also got um, some iron on adhesive. So I thought, okay, if I could like spray this on something that's not, you know, it doesn't have the adhesive. I'm going to try to do something with this and see if I can make it work. I don't know. We'll see. So that's everything I got. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Plans. Let's think plans, plans, plans for the rest of the month. I need to knit the baby blanket, knit the cow, um, get ready the rest of the stuff for the baby shower, finish ghost stories and work on 10 other Halloween projects. Now I know that I'm not going to like get to all of them. There's going to be, I'm going to focus on the ones that I really want to do. Um, I'll probably only touch about half of them because some of them I'm not really enthused to work on right now and other things are going to take precedence. So like the baby stuff. Okay. I think that's everything. It's Saturday night. It's getting late. <laughs> I've kept you guys a while. Um, so I am going to let you guys get back to all of the fun things you need to do. I'm going to get to cleaning up this really fun mess and putting everything away. And then I am going to go sit down and either work on the, um, the cow, the baby blanket or ghost stories. So you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. And I will see you either. I'm not going to do it on the 31st. I will see you hopefully November 1st. Smile, sparkle, shine. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your October and a happy, happy Halloween. We'll see you on November 1st. Cheers.